Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So over the last few months, um, even up to a year I think, people have been asking me about the Red Dragon Eastern Sabre. That is the uh, Gymnasium Sabre or Practice Sabre. There we go, there's a flex of it with a rolled tip um, and obviously a blunt, um, blunt blade for fencing practice and most of our sabre videos where you see me either instructing or fencing it will be in fact this exact sabre or certainly ones like it and um, a lot of people have asked me about where they can get it or why it isn't currently available on the HEMA shop website. The HEMA shop who have the brand Red Dragon I worked with them to uh, make this sword prior to that I'd worked with Regnier Armoury, Peter Regnier uh, the swordsmith in Hungary to produce an, an Eastern Sabre. This is not the same as the Regnier Armoury version um, and this essentially was a result of my kind of improvements and tweaks um, and also making something that we could mass produce. As it turned out this was being mass produced in India and essentially the reason it um, stopped being available on the HEMA shop website is because of quality control issues. Um, this was being made by a company in India and essentially there were just too many faults with the sabres coming out of India. So I think uh, the HEMA shop, aka the night shop, made the right decision um, to close down production and relocate production to the UK. Uh, quite simply uh, we could move production to the UK where we could oversee far more um, exact tolerances um, both in terms of the statistics of the blade, i.e. The, the distal taper and all of this kind of stuff and of course the heat treatment and the steel quality. So I think uh, fundamentally it was the right decision to move it to the UK. However, there have been a lot of delays um, in getting production up and running in the UK and that is why this Sabre is not currently available. I should just say, um, on these Sabres, if you have one, you very well may have one of these Sabres and it has lasted you incredibly well. And in fact, this Sabre that I'm holding has been through several tournaments, several competitions, it's used, been used by people, um, obviously myself, but also other people I've lent it to, and it has um, lasted fantastically. It has no bends in the blade, no kinks, it has taken only very minor uh, degree of uh, notching from protecting myself, from guarding at the base of the blade. It's got nothing notable and you'll notice I very rarely file this blade and I can run my bare hand over it so it's uh, maintained itself very very well and this is by far my favourite sabre. I have about four or five practice sabres and this is my favourite one um, and in fact this is the prototype that all of the ones subsequently were made from so this doesn't have the name on it at the base of the blade. So this has lasted very well but some people weren't so lucky, there were a number of very badly um, uh, quality controlled examples of these found their way to Swordfish unfortunately last year and they bent and they broke and they were just rubbish. So the Hema shop made absolutely the right call in ceasing production and relocating. As for when we're likely to see these available again, um, the jury's out on that. I've been waiting for a few months to get my hands on the new prototypes. Um, they should hopefully be available sometime soon, I don't know when exactly. Um, feel free to lean on and give pressure on the HEMA shop, um, I'm sure Brian will love me for saying this. Um, but uh, you know, it has been a long time, people have wait been waiting for a long time and these are great. In the meantime, I have been utterly recommending that people get uh, Regnier Armoury uh, Sabres. You can get a, a version of the so-called Eastern Sabre from uh, Peter. You can get variations of it, you can change the hilt slightly, you can uh, get, there are slightly different types of blade and various types of hilt. So if you want something that's a bit more custom and a bit more made for you, then absolutely go to Regnier Armoury. Um, obviously there's a bit of waiting time and they're a bit more expensive than these, but they're very good Sabres nevertheless. Once the prototypes of the new blades come out of the UK factory and get them find their way to me, I will be looking at making a few tweaks and a few design changes to this Red Dragon um, Eastern Sabre. Um, they won't be major changes, they'll be minor changes, um, but nevertheless it will be slightly different. And of course it will be um, high quality British steel and heat treated to very precise tolerances. Um, so there we go guys, that's the update on the Red Dragon Eastern Saber and when I have some news to give to you guys I will be posting it on Facebook and here on YouTube um, and on the Scholar Forum uh, so I will let you know when I have some news to give you guys. Cheers folks! 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.